Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Give me Matt, uh, Matthew uh, 24 and 4. Social distance. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. Bring, Bring it out. And Jesus answered and said so unto this, them. This is Christ. He's talking to the disciples that was asking him a question. Go ahead. Take heed that no man deceive you. So, yo, he's telling, what's your name, my brother, if you don't mind? Huh? What's your name? You mind? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh. Oh. All right, okay. so he's telling my brother right here, hey, you? listen, make oh. sure nobody trick you or lie to you. Go ahead. For many shall come in my name. So many shall come in my name. Many so, gonna come and say, I'm Christ, go ahead. Saying, I am Christ. Saying, hey yo, this is Jesus. I'm Christ, go ahead. Yeah. Bring it out. And shall deceive many. He's gonna deceive many. Right. That's what you're the point right now. A lot of our people say this is Christ. And if they do admit that he is not a white man, they're gonna come with it. Don't matter. Right. But he right. says, I matter. Right. I say I matter. Go ahead. That's right. Read. Read. For many shall come in my name, uh -huh. saying, I am Christ, uh -huh. and shall deceive many. Go ahead. This anymore? This anymore? No. That's why it matters. Cause he's telling you, listen, if you're not going to believe who I am, then when you got Boo Boo the fool right here, you got the image of the beast coming to you saying, I am Christ, you're going to be like, I guess that's Christ. Right. But when you actually read it, you know, you a liar. Right, right. You gonna know you ain't my savior. Right, right. You ain't my king. You ain't my ruler. That's right. Give me this. Hold that. This is my ruler. Right. That's right. Like right. somebody come to you and say, yo, it ain't your father. Hey, I'm your father. You ain't my damn father. Right. Because when you know somebody huh? carnally says that, you're gonna be pissed off, bro. You ain't my father. T. Hey, I'm your mother. You ain't my damn mother. Right. My mother right here. I know my mother. I see my mother. Right. That's why it matters, brother. That's right. That's Give really me fit, um uh Matthew 15, 24. Bring it out. Hey, hey, John 8. Is it John 8? He that believes in me? Yeah, yeah, I read it. it. Hold on, I got you. Yes, you sir. already got it? Okay, oh, you already got that? I got you. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to get the... Read, read, read that real quick. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. Yeah. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ, which we about to bring out right now, he said, listen, this is why it's important. So one, you don't get tricked. And two, the real life, guess what, but I only came for a certain nation. So if you think this is Jesus, this Jesus came for everybody else, right. he, but he ain't real. Right. right. He's not tracking the sky to save you. Right. right. So you're going to be waiting for somebody ain't never coming for you. That's, that's right. right. Give me Revelation. Right. There's any more? Uh, is there no, any sir. more on that? No, let's go back to now. Let's go to Revelation. That's bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. So my brother, and I want to make it clear. I'm speaking loud so everybody else can hear me. I'm not talking down to you because you're my brother and you're actually giving us a time. So I respect that. Because it's hot. You could be like, no, I'm hot. So I appreciate that. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Get out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus the Christ. Right. Which God gave unto him. To show unto his servants. To servants. You're going to realize it's not just talking about the apostles. Guess what? As a matter of fact, keep reading on. His servants are the Israelites. That's That's right. Right. Read, on. read on. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Now we read in Matthew 24, there was going to be false Christ. That's right. That's, he warned us about that. Right. Now let's go to the main point. 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hair. So his head and his hair and the beard.
beard, which he had, but you got a beard, which is a beautiful thing. That's the commandments. That's a beautiful thing. Right. right. Yeah. Read. His head and his hair uh -huh. were white like wool. So it was white it's and woolly. Like that's like the same texture you got right. on right now. Yes. Right. So that's why right. I tell brothers, I tell my sisters, man, you got to be like, yo, you got to take that with such pride. That's and you right. realize and you read the beard, the texture, the color, everything. I got it the same as him. Yo, you should have that beard like a, like a boss. Right. right. Read. Right. Read. Right. white as snow. So it was all white. So it ain't. It ain't brown, blonde, or none of that. Go ahead. And his eyes uh, were as a flame of fire. Because he drunk wine. That's his first miracle. Read. And his feet. And his feet. So he's looking at it. He had a sandal just like he could. He could see his. I see your feet. You put so, so crazy. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. What is brass, my brother? What color is that? Brown. That's right. Just like you. Read. As if they burn and they burn it. So you put anything. It's gonna be what? In a furnace. That's right. So take pride in that, brother. Right. So you gotta taste that spirit in your mind. It don't really matter. It does matter. That's, that's right. right. So when somebody said that's right. What's John 738. John 738. Yes. That's right. Oh, I broke it out. Yeah, you brought it out already. Yeah, I broke it out already. Oh, you already brought it out. Go ahead. Is any more on that? Yeah, that's right. So, my brother, it does matter. He won first and first on him. He's saying, you want to believe in me, you want to believe out the scripture. It's the same. Right. So this is, we're not saying this is exactly him, but this is a more accurate. This ain't no way near me. Right. right. That's right. So you got to take a prize just like Right. Christ looks just like me. That's right. That's Matthew 15, 24. Go back to Matthew 15, 24. Bring it out. Christ is only for you and your people. For That's us. Right. right. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. This Bring it out. Every Bible. This is not a magical Bible. This is, if you get a Bible, you're going to say the same thing. Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he ain't sent for everybody. So when said Christ is for everybody, he himself is saying, no, I'm not. I only came for you. Right, right. 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 So it does matter, brother. It does matter. Right. Right. Give me uh, Acts 3, 19. Bring it out. Now what does Christ want us to do? What does the black Messiah want you to do? Bring it up. Put this, put this Peace, yes, sir. Thank you. Three. Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Christ is saying, repent and be changed. That's why he came to give us that grace, that grace period. Because we all have sinned. And we are in 100%. Right. But guess what? These men right here that you see, we strive every day. Right. We battle every day to fight, to, to fight our sins. We learn, we read, and we apply as best as possible. So right. every day we get better and better. That's right. When that's time press, when we die and we return, we have the opportunity to be in the kingdom of God. That's, that's right. right. Read. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So be changed, brethren. This is why we out here to tell our people, change. Change. You understand? We said, give them what? We're changing. Now these coronavirus, man, why you think why you think this is happening? The Bible also speaks on the sin is going to come from God. What? Like, I, I think this coronavirus is going to come from God. Was that of God or was that of men? It's of men. I mean, honestly, well, can't nothing already happen unless God, he actually allowed it to happen. So, I would say it's God, you know? Right. But, but like, you know, because...
I don't I don't know if it, if it really hits you. We literally gotta be walking around dissing ourselves. It's crazy. You go to certain places, don't come in here unless you got a mask on. That's crazy. That gotta be a sign like, yo, things are really all starting to get bad. Those are signs for us to get, to get ourselves right. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is what, I'm gonna bring it out again. Give me Hosea 515. I'm gonna bring, bring it, it out. I brought it up earlier. Because a lot of times our people don't understand. Okay, we read it. We might understand. Okay, Lord did it. But why? But why? It's a reason. Read. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place. So God said, yo, I'm turning my back on y'all. Because what? He broke the commandment. So he said, yo, just like you can, he's rebellious. Oh, you don't want to listen to me? All right, you want to see what happens. Go ahead. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until we realize, like, yo, we, we, we messed up. We ain't, we ain't right. A lot of us got to just realize, look ourselves in the mirror, just be like, man, I ain't right. We got to be real with ourselves. So that's what he's, this is, it's happening. Read on this. Read, finish it off. And seek my face uh -huh. in their affliction. So while we get into this coronavirus, ourselves, our family members, or we lose our jobs because of the coronavirus or any other thing, go ahead. They will seek me early. This is when we're going to start being like, we got to look answers. Right. Lord, why did I lose my job? Lord, why did I get this? Why did my mind get this? Why did I die? That's why. Because you already know. A lot of us, when we in trouble, that's when we like, Lord. That's when we, hey, that word Lord, God, comes out of our mouth. When we in trouble, correct? All right. God knows his people. He knows his creation. Right. He said, okay, I'm going to beat them. And guess what? I'm going to beat them until they turn, until they turn to me. Or they're going to get destroyed. You understand that? That's why I said you got to repent. You got any questions so far, my brother? I've been talking. You good? Give me, give me exit. Um, did you just, did you, what you was about to go in? All right, give me uh, exit 20 in it. Because I wronged out, right, from the scriptures. Guess what? He's afflicted us because we broke his commandments, right? So I'm going to bring out some commandments. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day. Do you know about the Sabbath day, my brother? Yeah. Go ahead. To keep it holy. Keep it holy. Keep it separate. So you can't keep the Sabbath day just like any other day. Read. Six days. You look at any calendar in history, right? In our modern history, Sunday, right now, when you look at it, it's the first day. Friday is the sixth day. So you got those six days to do whatever you want to do. Okay? Six days shalt thou labor and right. do all thy work. Go ahead. But the seventh day. The seventh day, which is Friday. We, right now, we just, today's the seventh day. So from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, it's the Sabbath day. Read. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy it's God. The Sabbath of our Heavenly Father. Go ahead, read. It is. Thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant. So anybody in your house, your wife, your daughter, your kids, you got anybody visiting, your cousin, hey, you staying with me? Ain't no working. Not in this house. You ain't gonna break the Sabbath. Bring it out. Nehemiah. Does anyone give me Nehemiah? Because another thing is, those are we not supposed to work, we're not supposed to be buying a seller. Right. No buying a seller on the Sabbath. Right. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victual. So if there's any stores, any of these uh, people come, any store on the Sabbath day trying to sell food, clothing, anything on the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day uh -huh. to sell uh -huh. that we. And we, the Israelites, go ahead. would not buy it of them. We would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. Right. If you wanna, if you had any business today, you gotta, you gotta, you should wait. You That's better right. wait. That quarter the guy better wait till that sun come down. That's right. Now another thing. No cooking. Did we get that? No, we get that. Give me that. Like we got a, 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 some of our brothers right here, right? They working. And uh, and um and not to talk down because they probably didn't know. They might know. They don't know. If they if they do know, they ain't the wrong. Read. Exodus chapter thirty-five, verse three. Bring it up. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation. So I said we should kindle no fire. What does it talk about? Just putting a candle on or put a sign because you cold? 
No nope. smoking ribs. <laughs> he shall kindle no fire uh -huh. throughout your habitation uh -huh. upon the Sabbath day. Upon the Sabbath day. Give me the other one. Prepare. So we're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. This is why it says we're going to get the scripture right now to prepare our food before the Sabbath day. Bring it out, huh? Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Bring it out. And he said unto them, uh -huh. this is that which the Lord has said. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So this is the day before Sabbath day. Friday, go ahead. Or oh, it could be even Thursday, go ahead. Bake that which ye will bake today. So whatever you want to bake, bake it before the Sabbath. Go ahead. And seed that ye will see. So whatever you want to boil, boil. Go ahead. And that which remaineth over. So you got the leftovers, you put it in the refrigerator. Go ahead. Lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So if you want to eat cold chicken, and it's even sandwiches, you know, turkey and cheese, That's right. tuna fish, right. cereal, right. whatever it might be. You want to eat, prepare it the day before. Okay. If you want to, if, you, if it's something that, that needs to be cooked, you cook it before. But if it's the same day, you can make yourself a sandwich. It's not a problem. That's what clear so far, brethren. Clear? Now I want to give, uh, give me the print. Bring it up. Hey, I appreciate it, man. To, in, in all honesty, I'm telling you, hey, the most, first of all, the most I appreciate that you give the time. But we are just a servant. But you to give the time for the most high man that's actually so sad. I don't know, because you ain't saying much, so I don't know how you take it in, but it's still a good thing. Read. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Get up. Speak unto the children of Israel. Again, the children of Israel. You're gonna read out to the scriptures. Always, always, always the children of Israel. Right. Pointing out, just like uh Jesus said, I only came for the nation of Israel. Read. And bid them, command them, that they make them fringes. This and right the, here, my brother, these are fringes, right? Go ahead. In the borders of their garments. So we're supposed to put fringes in the border of our garments. This is just not on these right here. This is on all our shirts. Go ahead. Throughout their generation. So as we continue to have children, we put it on our children too. Go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe of the border uh -huh. a ribbon of blue. That's what you see right here, any color blue. And there's a reason. Go ahead, read. I'll tell you the reason. And it shall be unto you uh -huh. for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And do them. Guess what? Because sometimes, you know, we call them. We're in this flesh. So we're going to have our force, right? So guess what? This is supposed to be a reminder that guess what? Um, uh, you're going to the store. Okay. You're like, yo, it's already the Sabbath, right? And you're about to pull something out of your pocket. You're about to pull your wallet out, right? Or another way is it guess what? I'm your brother, I see you with friends, it's the seventh day. I see you about to break the commandments. And hey, you're my man, my brother. It's the seventh day. It's a reminder. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.